Hey everybody, it's Karen from Order for Acrylics. Welcome to Late Night Pouring. Um, sorry I uh, haven't been posting um, videos as quite as frequently as I like uh, being retired. I am, um, I was out throwing the ball to my dog on the edge of the golf course where we live and I stepped in a red ant mound and got stung all over my feet and ankles. Um, bad enough that I ended up having to go to one of those patient first place and getting steroids and creams and ointments and Benadryl and uh, had a pretty, pretty good allergic reaction. Um, it was awful. I mean, just the, uh, the itching, unlike anything I've ever felt before. Anyway, that's why I haven't been painting. Um, a quick shout out to Leanne for the gift. She made me, look at this, work on this necklace. Gorgeous, and she sent me another one too, so I had to say thank you. That was totally not necessary. Gifts are not necessary. I appreciate them. I'm like, I'm at a loss for words. You guys are just amaze balls. Um, so now that I'm retired, my husband's like, well, you gotta get all serious now. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Like, can I turn this into a business? I don't want it to like lose its fun. What do I do? And I've been mulling that all over. And then tonight I decided, screw it. I'm just gonna paint for fun. I'm just gonna like put a whole bunch of different techniques all into the same pour and see what happens for fun, strictly for fun. Cause that's what it should all be about. Um, let me show you the results from the last uh, couple videos. I don't remember the order. I think this is from a couple videos ago. This was the sandwich pour technique, but poured, and then moved around. It actually um, has a really bad coat of resin on it, like a week early, but shh, don't tell anybody. Um, and it needs two more, but it's obviously uh, dry now, and it dried. I, I remember I tilted something off, off camera, like I moved a little bit, I think down here. Um, not sure of the composition yet. Super happy with it. It is bumpy, but glorious. It's bumpy from the resin. Uh, yeah. And this one, I gotta say, um, I have um, light blue walls in my living room and I hung up on the wall to take pictures. It's a statement piece. Like you notice it on the wall. It commands your attention. That's always a good thing. Uh, here's that guy. That'll be up for sale maybe next week. This is the, oh, I spilled paint on it. Oh, I can't believe it. That'll come off though. Yep, it's gonna peel off. I did a failed pour earlier and that's still damp. I'll be able to get that off. But that's the, um, the finished piece from the Floating Cup collaboration with Jenny Post. There's mine, super bright and happy. I definitely like it vertical. It could go either way for me. Um, fabulous bright bright colors uh, even the darker parts are really awesome see what I just did has bleach paint right there it's tacky so I'll get that off in a minute and then this was another floating cup pour on my cradled ampersand panel I hate it I like totally hate it like completely hate this guy uh, did I mention I hate it it's gonna get poured over. I don't like anything about it. I don't like the composition. I don't like the colors. Um, I don't like how dark it is in spots. Even though the black with the uh, teal is pretty cool. It's a goner. So say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Anyway, uh, let me get you down on the canvas. I got a 14 by 18 gallery wrap canvas tonight. And what I thought I would do since I'm just gonna play. Hello, can I bend? I'm gonna threaten and go back to my selfie stick if you keep this up. How's that? That's pretty good. Okay, I, uh, I was gonna do another sandwich pour, sandwich pour technique with, and then pour it. I was going to do a cloudy effect pour. I was going to do a pour in circles. I had all these ideas and I just decided to combine them all. So I'm going to do a cloudy effect sandwich pour, pour in circles. 
pencils <laughs> or actually I might just pour on um, so colors I have my artist love flow acrylic and the white and the half and half with the deco art satin enamel I also have the deco art satin enamel in blue or this is called dark denim it's a gorgeous gorgeous shade of blue and I mixed it um, with my Amsterdam Fado Blue, which is a darker shade, but um, it kept its uh, medium blue color. Where's my consistency? Kind of on the runny side, right? No trace to speak of. Pours right back into the cup. But man, love that shade of blue. I have my, what did I do with the container? I lost it. Oh, here it is. I have my Deco Art Metallic. This is the 24 karat gold. Good stuff. And then I have Artist Law Flow Acrylic in black. That's an awful lot of black. There's the gold. And then for a pop of color, um, I'm just finding this shade, and it doesn't have to be Amsterdam brand, is this um, Caput Mortem Violet. This violet color or, or it's basically red violet. It's very, very versatile. You add a touch of black or paints gray, you get a nice crimson color. Add a touch of white, you get a really lovely shade of pink. Um, it's very versatile. So good one to keep, the red violet. Keep it, keep a tube or two, a tube or two of that handy because uh, you can do a lot with it. All right, so my Cori Medium um, is Floetrol. This stuff in all my colors, two to one ratio, Floetrol to paint. Um, so they're all kind of thin. And I'm going to attempt to layer them. I don't think they really will, but I'm at least going to pour them down the sides of a cup enough um, to have some, some sandwiching going on. And uh, yeah, I'll get started. Uh, yesterday was really exciting. I have a couple pieces of art hanging in an art exhibit at the USGS, which is the United Geological, um, what's the S survey? It's a U.S. government. There's people that like watch out for, they study rocks and watch out for hurricanes and all that kind of stuff. Their headquarters is in my town and uh, they wanted things that represented the earth. So I put in, submitted a couple pours and it's going to be a jury show and the winner gets 750 bucks. I was like, ooh, that sounds fun. So I entered into that. Yeah, is this stuff gonna layer? Not really, but I'm gonna pour a bunch of colors in. You know me, I always like my blue and black together. And then maybe some, just a little black though. And then the gold. And then the red violet. Anyway, um, Got a couple pieces of art there. I don't expect to sell anything, but I just like the idea of a bunch of scientists walking by my art every day on the way to their office. And let me top this off with a whole bunch of white. Oh my God, a whole bunch, woo! That's a lot, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. And I am just going to, I like a tree ring for it. I could pour, pour it. I could go in circles. Like big, I don't mean like tree ring circles. I mean like circles. I think I'm just gonna do whatever my hand, wherever my hand leads me. Which I always find is better than anything I can dream up. It's just to let it be organic. Let that sit and spread a second. What else do I gotta tell you? 
I'm going to take all of my art, I think, and um, it's not official yet, but I think I have an opportunity to decorate an open space of a public building in the town next to mine, which is, they sent me a list of places like a real estate office or the library, which nobody buys art at in a library, so never do that. Um, but a bunch of different buildings, so that's kind of cool. Gets them off of my wall. And uh, into the public view. Let me give this a torch, just for more for bubbles than anything. No silicone. I lots of bubbles in my white. all the weight. I expect a lot of weight after that mega dump I did. All right, let's make some room. I have extra paint in case you know. I like to have all my options open and have extra paint in case I need it. Uh, let's move things around, see what I like. I like the middle. That's the thing, is I really like the middle. And I like that it's not a tree ring pour with the uh, eye of the hurricane because I'm not a fan of those. Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? I think I'll squish everything over this way for a second. Just a little bit, pour some of that off and then bring it back. the weight of the paint over here. I might as well finish off this other corner. I like the stripe on the corner. I do like that. So I'm kind of interested to see if I even get a cloudy effect or not. You see me get a stripe on this corner? Wouldn't that be fun? Kind of. And then come down here. Oh, and then it's gonna be the uh, stripey corners. Is that what I have? Hmm, I'm taking these wonky cells off though. I feel like I have Africa. Well, it was. I don't know what that is right there. I don't know if I like this. I like the blue uh, and the gold. I'm enamored with this shade and this little piece right here. The rest of it, not feeling it. Not feeling it at all. And I lost my, uh, I lost my red violet. There's some of it here, it's kind of peeking through in places. Let me give it a torch and then uh, swirl it around some more. Because there's I feel like there's still paint on there. And if I'm really not happy with it, then I can add more paint. Pour some off and add paint. Whoa, hello. There's an ant on me from, I have no idea where, but every time I feel a bug, I get like paranoid, like, oh, it's a red ant, it's gonna get me. Well, that's very speckly. dork around with it and if I still don't like it then I will pour even more off because like I said today tonight is play night you know I'm not 
I'm feeling it. I like the colors very much. I'm gonna pour over that. Yep. I do like the, my um my gold cells popping up everywhere now that I should be more patient and wait for. But um, they're not enough to save the painting, so. A for effort, little gold cells. That didn't work out. Take my white will be first. And I'm gonna do a red violet first. Let me make sure some of that shows up. And the gold. And where's my glue? Let's get back to red violet again. To blue and the red violet again. So hardly, so I'm doing the opposite. So instead of uh, a whole bunch of white, there's hardly any. Just whatever's on the bottom there. All right. Take two. Same thing. Oh gosh, that's pretty. Let that see what I mean about that color? With the dark, it makes a really pretty crimson, and with the light, it makes the prettiest shade of pink. I'm telling ya, it's a good color. Pink is pouring off. I don't want you to. Ooh, it made a rose gold too. <gasps> Mixed in with the gold. That's the color of the week, y'all. I'm just gonna go for it on that one corner. That is the color of the week. slow down because I like my colors and I like my composition. So let me stare a second. Let's not be in a rush. Alright. I'm going to go up to this corner. What are you? Why aren't you moving? What are you? Splatter. Gonzo, whatever you are. I'm going to have to go for it in that one corner. 
that's okay. Bring it back. Keep the rose gold. Let me stir some more. I think I'm really happy with the composition of that though. So I'm looking for balance of colors. I'm looking to see how pleasing it is to the eye. Quadrants of three. Cell shape. Color combo. All kinds of stuff, really. I see another clump. I don't know what that is. I am uh, totally, totally grooving on the... Um, the red violet mixing into this rose gold. It is stunning. I bet you it's not conveying on camera. And there is something in this one cell. Ew. Oh. I don't know what you are, but I bet you, I thought it, I had a thing on my flow trawl, but I got it. Let me give it a torch. Stare at it for a second or two. So, if I'm gonna be, you know me, ultra picky. I like it when a painting shows movement without actually going anywhere. And what I mean by that is when you look at a painting and it's very obvious that the direction of where it was tilted, like you can like totally tell if you're a, a, you know another pouring artist, like, oh, they tilted it this way. You wanted to have movement without giving away how you got there, if that makes any sense. So for me, you can tell that I just tilted to that corner and I don't want it to look like, I don't want, I don't want the viewer to know my secrets. Like, how did it get there? How did she do that? I want it to be a mystery. So for me, that probably just means tilting it back this way a little bit so it doesn't look so obvious that these are all heading in that direction. I don't know if I'm explaining it well. I know what I mean in my head. I don't want to be stuck. A little bit there. Paint's slowing down, so that's good. So like this, like this moving up a little bit, it doesn't look like it was shooting off the side or shooting down to that one call, one section over there. I'm gonna give this a torch, see if anything happens. I'm gonna chicken torch on the end. I don't think I want, I don't want any speckles or anything in here. Maybe it'd be nice to grow some of these organic gold cells on the side edges. Um, and that's it. Maybe up here would be fine. And like up in here. That's about it. I'm leaving the middle alone. Up in there. Yeah, some in there. Here. Do you know, get anything in there? There's a gold. We'll see if this all grows. the black the blue cell we're gonna try even if it's a white spot now it looks like a mosquito pretty close that'll be a dab of white paint oh and that's it I just took my whole finger in there Oh yeah, don't mess with the Karen. Just tab, wait till it dries. Put a dot of white paint on it. There's a white, oh, I made it worse. I should know by now. How many times have you guys seen me do that? Like a zillion, a zillion. I'm loving this, I'm really happy.
I guess I should wait and go off camera and then come back. Um, let's give it five minutes. I can show you my boxes real quick. Let me come up and we'll just watch it since it is, uh, you know, cloud pour. Where am I? Oh, I look a mess. I had tennis tonight. I'm in my tennis clothes and I have hat head. So I'm sorry about that. Um, we're waiting a second. I have been working on boxes and I have a lot of, um, I don't know, trial ones as I played with different kinds of varnish, different colors of varnish, different kinds of um, finishes. Do you resin first? Do you paint first? Do you varnish first? And so I have a couple that are just about ready for sale. So you're gonna look like this. It's a little pour on top and then I try to do corresponding colors. Um, this is unvarnished and just stained and it's just a little, you know, a little pop-up box and I put felt on the bottom and I'll sign it and everything. Um, this little trinket box. And then I have one, this one's a print that I adhere to the top and then resin the print because I love the print. And this is a different color stain. And at first I didn't like it because the stain like is in different colors. And my husband was like, it's supposed to, it's wood. That's what wood looks like. Don't worry about that. It looks natural. I'm like, you're absolutely right. So just another smaller one. And then I'm still working on bigger ones like this. So this one's darker. And I made the mistake of staining it first and then resining it. And even though I had to tape the resin leaked and stained the, see if I do that, you see that? So now I feel like I can't sell it unless I sand that off and redo it all. And But I'm working on about 15 of them to go up on my Etsy shop. And I'm in no rush, really. Um, maybe they're for Christmas. I don't know. And then the other thing I've been working on is um, I might start embellishing and drawing. I used to draw a lot and doodle a lot. And I'm going to start doing that. I think on top of some pores, so I did a very plain pour. And this is just, um, you know, just little dots, a little something to accent. And then the sides are painted gold, a little thing like this. And then after I doodle on it, I resin it again. So it's painted, cured, a layer of resin, drawn on, a layer of resin again, and then the sides painted. So look for those, they're fun. They're a lot more work, but I really, like, I've forgotten how much I enjoyed just sitting down at my table and, and drawing, so. Um, I was gonna tell you the story of how me, how me and my husband met, but I'll save that for another night because our wedding anniversary is coming up and it's a pretty good story. So I'm gonna tease you and you're just gonna have to wait. Let me get you down on the canvas for a close up. Um, not a whole lot has changed. I'm gonna just walk away for half an hour and uh, see what happens. But man, if it stays the way it is. So let me just get you down. So yeah, see, not much has uh, moved. Um, let me see if I can drop this down lower so you can see like in the rose gold part there's this ever so fine lacing going on and then lacing in the gold that just looks amazing. Sit down in here if you can see it and then the blue cells I mean the gold cells in the blue and then look at that red violet I'm telling you that's like I can't talk enough uh, good things about that color because it's just so versatile. I love the drama and the whole pink and white section despite my, that's like a dot of white paint though. And then up here, there's the rose gold and then let me get you over this one corner. Over here, whoa. And then kind of come up high. Go ahead and bend. That's what she looks like. Lots and lots of drama. I haven't decided on the orientation. I'm thinking this is the top, but we'll see. We'll see when it's dry. And uh, yeah, happy little painting. That was fun. 
and uh, I hope to do another one uh, tomorrow. So see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.